later on, Lisa was getting lunch ready for the kids, but Isabella, she wasn't happy with what Mum was offering. I'm not eating that. No, because it's not mixed up. No! Mummy, it's not going to do it because you are a big girl and you can do it yourself. Well, this is what I made for lunch for you. Isabella wasn't giving up, so I told Mum, give her a straight warning. If you don't stop this behaviour, you will sit on the naughty stool. Okay, she's having a temper tantrum. But she ignored Mum. So it was off to the naughty stall for her. Come on. No tone voice. Remember, you're not pleased. She's not listening. You need to stop this behaviour, and that is why you are on the naughty stool. And in the meantime, Will started to play up, and then she had to follow through with him. Will, I want you to eat at least three pieces of ravioli, and if you do not, you will be sitting on the naughty stool. Here's your ravioli. Ignore it. We're not going there. So at one point, both of them, Isabella and Will, were on the naughty stool. Eye contact. Because you have refused to eat your lunch, you're sitting on the naughty stool. Having both Isabella and Will on the naughty stool at the same time, I got a good crash course in what Joe is trying to teach me. 